and sweet, sweet, amazing surge for a perfect board wipe and six prizes. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, chat. <laughs> There's something incredibly satisfying about spreading damage all over your opponent's board and then swooping up all your prize cards at once with one awesome spread attack. And no, I'm not talking about G-Max Rapid Flow or Max Phantom or whatever Jolteon VMAX's attack is. This is Gym Leader Challenge format, so no Pokemon V or VMAX are allowed. In this single prize format, water type Pokemon have some incredible spread potential with cards like Shining Volcanion, Amazing Rare Kyogre, and even the new Rapid Strike Starmie from Fusion Strike. I'm really excited about my new Gym Leader Challenge deck, so let's scope it out. If you're new to Gym Leader Challenge format, don't worry, the decks are really cheap and fun to build, and the rules are easy to remember. I've got them all here on gymleaderchallenge.com, and there really are just a couple to keep in mind. Your deck can only contain one type of Pokemon, so you have to pick your favorite type, either water, fire, grass, lightning, and then you build a deck around that type of Pokemon. Only one of each card with the same name is allowed in a deck, except for basic energy. So it's a singleton format. That means you can only play one of each supporter card, one of each item card, one of each special energy card, and the results are awesome. It really is a fun and intricate format to play. Cards with the rule box are not allowed. So that means no Pokemon V, VMAX, GX, Prism Stars, or anything like that. A spec cards are not allowed, which really helps to keep the price of each of these decks down. And then the legal cards are black and white through the most recent sets. This format is a ton of fun, easily my favorite way to play Pokemon cards. If you got any questions, make sure to check out the frequently asked questions, which we got right here. A lot of the most frequently asked questions are answered right here on the website. We also made an update to Gym Leader Challenge format recently, unbanning all ancient trait Pokemon. Pokemon. So if you got an ancient trait Pokemon that you had really wanted to play in your Gym Leader Challenge deck, you can play it now because they're allowed. So that's about it. If you're looking for people to play against, make sure to check out the Tricky Gym Discord. It's a great place to find other players looking for a Gym Leader Challenge match. Now let's check out that water deck. Water type Pokemon has some awesome spread type attacks in Gym Leader Challenge format. Like Kyurem from Noble Victories, with its Glaciate attack, it does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon for two water and a colorless energy. So if your opponent has six Pokemon in play, that's 180 damage spread out on your opponent's board for just three energy. Shining Volcanion is another awesome water Pokemon with its dual pump attack for three water energy. It does 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. And then, of course, there's Amazing Kyogre with its amazing Surge Attack, which does 80 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. But it does cost a Water, a Lightning, a Metal, and a Colorless Energy. Unfortunately, Frost Moth can only accelerate Water-type Energy with its Ice Dance ability. So in order to pay for Amazing Surge, we play one copy of Counter Energy, which provides every type of energy but only two at a time when you are behind on prizes. So we can use counter energy when we're behind to pay for amazing surge and take a bunch of knockouts all at the same time. Now, sometimes Kyogre's amazing surge just softens targets up, doesn't actually finish them off. And for that, we have got the new Rapid Strike Starmie from Fusion Strike with its multi-shot star attack. You can discard any amount of water energy from this Pokemon. Then for each energy you discarded in this way, you choose one of your opponent's Pokemon and do 30 damage to it. So if you discard six energy, then you get to do 180 damage spread on your opponent's board in chunks of 30. You don't have to do it all to the same Pokemon. You get to pick a different Pokemon for each energy you discard. This Starmie is incredible at sweeping up huge knockouts, especially after you pulled off an amazing Surge. This deck is a ton of fun to play, and so is Gym Leader Challenge format. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend giving it a try. Check out the gameplay ahead, and let me know what do you think of this Water-type deck in Gym Leader Challenge format in the comments below. Want to ask a tip? How do I get over mental barriers in the game? I've been playing now since Sword and Shield, and I'm 
Still make bad moves and losing games I shouldn't. Any tips? Yo, thanks, Omnitoast, for the 100 bits. It's a good question. Practice. Um, practice, 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 practice. I know it might seem like you've been playing a long time, having played since Sword and Shield, but that's actually not that long of a time. Um, it took me years, I, years, like three years of playing and just trudging through being bad in order to finally start to break through and see some success. So I would say, don't be discouraged. It, everything, every, uh, every mistake is a learning opportunity and just try to think of them as that uh, the best you can. Patience is key and never stop having fun, right? Never stop having fun. So if you're having fun and you're learning from your mistakes, then just practice and perseverance and that'll get you there. All right, we've got Kurum and Shining Volk. I do think that Kurum is very good. Early Glaciate would be insane. So we're just going to do that. And I don't want to let my Staryu get smacked for 20. So I'm going to retreat and pass. I think that yeah, I mean, that would be hilarious, right? Smack my start. I mean, that's like a free 20 damage. Not looking for that. The Nest Ball, though, will probably allow... Will probably allow for Jesse to go for a Lolan Vulpix, right? Retreat the Star U into a Lolan Vulpix, and then Beacon for some setup cards. I guess, yeah, that actually was a little bit of a bold retreat. Because... Now I can't beacon myself, but I could just stay the course and just glaciate, like go for like a fast glaciate, which will put a lot of pressure on Jesse actually, because you know glaciate's insane, and if I I also don't want to over bench. Probably, in hindsight, probably shouldn't have... We probably shouldn't have retreated knowing that he probably was going to go... Opening star you, you're probably going for the Vulpix, right? So I probably should not have retreated. But it's fine. I can still manually retreat the Kurum, but I'm not going to want to do that. Would be nice to top deck into like a, a level ball or something so I could bridge it and get set up with some of my support Pokemon, but... I think we just kind of hang tight for the time being. There is the Bruxish that Jesse was talking about. It's got Nash T. Your opponent's active Pokemon's confused. Ooh, that's interesting. And then Synchro Noise. All right, Squirtle is down. So no Moth. Lapras is here in a beacon. Okay. That's a lot of Pokemon benched against a spread deck. It is. It looks like Jesse has the rare candy Blastoise. So it's going to be ready to blast off, if you will. Huh. That's fine. We'll do this. Bridget's and get Snom and Sobble and Remoraid. That's fine. And Outrage. And then I start glaciating. Dang, bro. You really hate to see it. It's a blank card. Dive ball. Yeah, Jesse got the whole deal set up. Star me. Yeah, everything's ready to go. So, ugh, I think I should. Yeah, we should have not retreated that star you turn one. And I think I could end up paying for that decision this entire game. 
because I, I didn't give myself the opportunity to beacon, and I could have just beaconed. Jesse was always going to get the first beacon, though, since he went second. So this is the route we chose, and it's fine so long as I draw something soon. It's, I would say, optimal if we draw something soon. The Broxious, 20 damage to all my Pokemon. That's fine. I'm going to be Glacia. I mean, these are going to be some meaty Glaciates. Like, some serious Glaciates. Nash Teeth, just going for the confusion. That's fine. Hey, let's go. All right. See? I told you it was going to be fine. I told you. Okay. Abyssal hand. Hey, that's good. It's good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So I need to escape rope. I don't have a free retreater anymore, but it's fine. We're going to escape rope. And then we're going to throw up Octillery. And then hope I find like a level ball or something to be able to search out Drizzile. Ah, that's not quite it. Not good. Not good. Okay. Let's Evo Soda go get Moth. And then Ice Dance. These onto Shining Volcano while we can. Okay. And. Throw that into flying pass. That's fine. Yeah, I can eat with a frost moth, but you can't frost moth to the active. So the thought, I guess my thought was I was going for, I was hoping that I would draw into a card that would let me search out the Drizzile so that I could get the float stone, right? That was the hope. That was the hope. Let's see, Broxious, 20 to everything is like, now what's funny is I don't actually have rough seas in the deck right now, which would be like obviously pretty insane in the mirror match, huh? But we'll see if Jesse actually like takes a prize card, right? Because if Jesse, I do hope that I can kind of like keep something on board that's got like a loan up that alone vulpix is going to be a i mean that is going to be something that is just stuck on jesse's board unless jesse plays scoop up nets which probably does i right, got teammates field blower so i'd have to just do that and abyssal hand for two okay we got the letter and timer ball just need a heads good Okay, so we're in there. Shady dealings, yeah. And then go get Tate and Liza, Guzma, Boss's Orders, Scoop Up Net. Um, could go Scoop Up Net. Or Guzma. Guzma's pretty good. Guzma with the Blastoise. See if I can't stick it. All right, Letter. Get some energy. 
Ice Dance. Just want to get this energy applied, you know, like while I like definitely can. And then we'll go one here. Star Glaciating. Let her rip. There we go. And then what's funny is that even if Jesse does play, like Jesse probably doesn't play rough seas either because you don't want to give your opponent. Um, I prized my floatstone, yeah. You don't want to give your opponent a, uh, yes, exactly. So he probably plays Chaotic Swell instead. You don't want to give your opponent any healing or anything like that. That's bad. So I'm going to let the Octillery, you know, bite it eventually. Which is fine, because that's going to allow me to do some cool stuff. Um, yeah, it's Abyssal. Okay, Gladian. There's our Floatstone and our Muscle Band, our Cynthia and our N. So let's get Floatstone. Probably should have been Evolution Incense. That's fine, though. We're going to retreat into Volcanion. And dual pump. We hit Blastoise. We're going to hit Lapras. Okay. Yeah, I should have hit Evolution Incense. I think I'm going to be... I'm like so close to... I'm so close to what I need right now. You guys see the play? Thank you, J-Bob, for the gifted sub. Appreciate you, J-Bob. I'm so close to the play. Oh, man. I need, like, one card off the top. Can I teammates for it? I can teammate. Never mind. I just teammates for it. I got it. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, it's going to be easy. I don't have to ride on teammates. I forgot teammates is literally right here. I literally have win next turn. If Jesse doesn't do something insane, I'm going to take all six prizes in one turn. You see what I'm saying? If Jesse takes a prize, <laughs> I win. <laughs> yeah. Kyogre does hit the active. I don't know who told you that. All right. So Jesse goes in. Y'all ready for this? Last game, baby. It's two water in my discard pile. Yep. Ice Ice Baby. And we got the Amazing Surge. Counter Energy. Ice Dance twice. Retreat. And sweet, sweet, amazing surge for a perfect board wipe. And six prizes. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, chat. <laughs> Best of three. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> All right, up next on the list. Sorry, Jesse. Yeah, no, we got a we got a line today, Jesse. We got a line. We got a line. I know, bro. We got a line, bro. <laughs> we got a line. <laughs> I got a Kiram Kyogre start. I'm going seconds. Got Tate and Liza, Brooklyn Hill. 
definitely just would rather open the Kirim. We are playing a water mirror match. I am playing a spread water deck against Jesse's hydro pump list. Really excited to see how this one goes. I'm going to kick things off with a, and Tate and Liza for four kind of weak sauce. So I'm just going to end it up and see what we find off these six cards. That's a good enough draw. We can rock with that. Brooklet Hill. Brooklet Hill we got. Oh, there's Snom is prized. Okay. So with Snom being prized. Uh-oh. With Snom being prized, you usually want to go for your Intellion to go get Gladian and get it. But both, both the little guys are prized. Which is not oh good. But it's fine. We'll persevere. I'm going to figure it out. Get Shining Volcanion. Didn't find an energy off of that. It's not ideal. Dive ball. Yeah. I have to say, a lot of these guys are not awesome. You really want the Intellion or the Snom. Definitely. Or an energy drop. But it's cool. We can make things happen. We're just going to have to be a little bit more patient. What if we put Archie in the deck? You'll never pull that play off. First of all, you need to get Blastoise into the discard pile. Then you got to have the Archie be the last card in your hand. It, it's like it never happens. Never, never happens. You're just better off using Rare Candy Blastoise the old-fashioned way. Every time. All right, so Jesse's going to be setting up now. The Lapras does just get in there. I mean, it's doing 40 damage right now. Attach one more energy. It's doing 70 damage. Pretty good. Two hit KO on my Kirim. Didn't get an energy drop turn one, so I can't outrage turn two. It's a little bit annoying. This Kirim is just going to be up here being a big dude and just let itself get knocked out over the course of a couple turns. I think that's what that's what we're going to be doing here. Two heads on timer ball when, unfortunately, you can't evolve anything right away. It's always the worst. I guess Colrus is probably going to be the play this next turn. Because I don't want to Juniper away my Raihan. Keep that available uh, with the Snom being prized. Raihan is valuable. really don't want to let Jesse just keep that insane hand with the Frost Moth and the Octillery in it. But there's not too much that I can do about that with this current hand. We're just going to have to let it ride. So... That's probably okay. Oh, this is where my Sobble would go. If I had one! And I'm curious if Jesse will go for the Hydro Pump or the Confuse Ray. Looking like the Orb of Confusion. We've got Nessa. Good for nothing, Nessa. Listen, Nessa's not going to be doing us anything if I can't set up Brooklyn Hill. We'll grab... Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Might as well just grab some dudes. I think level ball, we get Octillery. I mean, I could just get as many Pokemon as possible. And then Colrus, right? So I think that that's probably what we're doing. Get the Kyogre now. Level ball get this guy and say like okay I'll I'll find some out to my octillery off of this culverse and because I'm culverse in for extra cards oh yeah totally fine got the beach um, I don't want to just waste both my stadiums but uh, might be a situation where I have to waste both my stadiums 
to try and just grind through the deck as much as I can to go find that Gladian. Need Gladian. Okay, so let's get rid of these guys. None of that matters. Go get this fella. Ironically enough, the Pokemon most likely to be able to take a knockout for me. Yeah, this is really risky, but I do have Field Blower in the deck. It's going to be Starmie. Well, there, there it is. Um, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, and then... Kind of have to bench that. Kind of have to draw some cards. Okay. Still no no dice on the whole, you know, finding Snom thing or Gladian, either of those cards. Now, finding Gladian would be a lot easier if I had not prized my Sobble or my Snom. Both of those are key ingredients. We do have Octillery. We're trying to make it work by digging through the deck at a rapid rate. Now, the spread decks are a little bit more susceptible to prizes than your aggressive decks because aggressive decks take prizes. <laughs> they take, you know what I mean? Like, quickly. And then you can just find stuff that you're looking for in the prizes. But the decks that have to, like, sit back and bide their time, they are much more susceptible to your prizes because if you prize a piece, you're not going to be able to make that comeback that you are looking to make. Kiram confused out here. Energy on the star you. Uh, Drizzile means that... Jesse gonna be able to get whatever PC wants. Now Jesse been playing it. He played against this deck earlier today and uh, completely board wiped his board with amazing Ky or amazing Kyogre. So I doubt he's gonna let that happen again. Probably gonna be a little bit more careful than he was earlier on. Uh, but I don't exactly have the most star studded setup going on. So it could get rough out here. Raihan, Aquapatch, just something like Aquapatch would be really good. Get enough energy on the Starmie, knock out the Frostmoth. That's kind of like, that's what I'm going for. Just discard three energy, knock out Frostmoth. That'd be great. I think Jesse's got the Whalmer, right? You can slap the Whalmer down. At this point, I've played both my stadiums. You don't have to worry about your Rough Seas. Uh, got one Field Blower to take care of the Rough Seas. That's all I got. Okay, we got Evo Soda, Evolution Beverage, if you will. Do that to get the Starmie. Is Gladian in the deck? Gladi Gladian. Get over here, Gladian. Honestly, grow up, dude. Grow up, dude. Okay. Mm-hmm. Seeker and Culrus. We're just going to go for Culrus. I'm probably going to scoop up Nets. The Kyrim. Go into Articuno. Nest Ball. Thin this garbage that I don't need out of my deck. Evolution Incense. We don't even need those cards at this point. We don't need like any of them because I can't use them. I'll keep the Evolution Incense just in case I ever do find Snom. And then... I guess I'm just wasting more resources. Cool. We're going to call risks, just what I have to do to give myself as high of a chance possible of finding the Gladian. There he is. Beautiful. So now I could either sleep with Articuno or just attach energy to Starmie and chill. I feel like I 
I attach energy to Kyogre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the play right there. All right. Pass. <laughs> yeah, no, we're just gonna do that. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna freak him out a little bit, you know. Put an energy on the Kyogre. Make him make him start to question everything he does. Right? We put an energy on Kyogre. Then now all of a sudden. Now all of a sudden Jesse's gotta think about everything. Like, dang, bro, I could just be one step away from Losing the whole squad. One false move. And it's all going down. And there's the, the whale. Okay. Now, fortunately, Jesse hasn't, you know, been super quick on the taking the prizes thing yet. But with Shady Dealing and Telling Out, uh, yeah, you could bet that the whole prizes thing is probably going to start ramping up. Why do we play the Kyogre? Because the Kyogre is insane. It, especially if you have Frostmoth in play, but I have prized it. It's fine. We're, uh, you know, we're scrambling, but... No, we play the Kyogre because it's insane, bro. Kyogre's nuts. Yeah, this thing is like recovers from all special conditions. That's kind of silly. Alright, but the Intellion can't recover from special conditions. That's good. So maybe I try to Chilling Sigh again. Could see it. We've got Floatstone. I'm going to put it on the Octillery. That makes sense. Timer Ball doesn't matter for us. Give me the Snom. Okay. There he is. Isn't that nice? And then... Rescue Stretcher. Taking a prize. We want to, yeah, get this guy back. Let's see if I can't buy a turn. Nothing here that I want to get rid of. I'll Bissell for one. And then I got the Goose, cool. Go for the chilling sigh. Sleep. Dang it. What the heck is wrong with you, bro? Not a single clutch play the entire time. Why did I even unban you? <laughs> not a single. You have not come in clutch one time, bro. Not, not once. <laughs> not even twice. None times. Okay, it's going to be Snom. Maybe should have saved the... Well, could have saved the Rescue Stretcher. Could have. But we're in a situation where... Oh, that's a nice little find there. Good. Okay. can't abyssal hand because my hand is jammed so how miserable huh gotta go get the snob again Got no supporters in hand. Don't want a Guzma. Bissell for one. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> 
fantastic. Okay. Got any energy in the discard pile yet? I don't. Let's attach this energy. Quick ball away. The muscle bands. Gets numb. And then attach the energy to Kyogre and do it again. Come on, Articuno. You can do it, bud. This is ridiculous. Just like, honestly, bro. I mean, I'm trying to have a. I'm trying to have a mature talk about this. What what gives? I know you've got more in you than this. I know you do. I know you can you can keep them asleep. I know you are capable of doing that. We're going to go down so many prizes here. So many. I'm not sure if it's going to be possible for us to make a comeback, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I do have the Kyogre play. I mean, we got it this turn. But at what cost, right? Um, okay. I'm a little bit afraid of just and Nessa's cool. It's not the time to play Nessa, but I am worried about just plopping down the, you know, just have to amazing surge. Not great. Just plopping down the rough seas, and then it's going to be like, cool, glad we did that. And I have to f still find my my guy. My frost moth. And if I can find my frost moth, then I can potentially I mean it's it's possible, right? It's possible. We're hoping that the rough seas is like prized or something. I know Jesse plays rough seas. I know that. So we're hoping it's just not there. Certainly un undoes a lot of the work that I have attempted to do. All right, Juniper into the bottom of the deck, hoping for a whiff. It's going to be like the first thing Jesse throws out if he draws into it. It would, boom. Definitely. You don't just, like, think about it. <laughs> There's nothing to think about. If you draw the rough seas, you play in it, right? You're you're playing it. Period. So I need to find my frost moth now. Because once I find Frost Moth, I will be able to accelerate a bunch of energy onto my Starmie. And Starmie can take a bunch of prizes this turn. But I don't know that I have the sauce that I need. It needs to be like Frost Moth. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yes! 
Needs to be fr <laughs> Yes. Good. Okay. Very good. So we've got only three water in my discard pile. I know I have prize two water, which is a huge pain for me. Okay. Splash energy. Ice dance. Superior these way. Have I used my verse seeker yet? Oh, yeah. Have I used my saucer yet? No. I haven't used Raihan yet either. So. YOLO, dude. Let's do this thing. Okay. Ice dance. The problem is this guy. I don't know that I can actually knock him out. Abyssal hand. Got teammates and a field blower. Okay. So teammates can get me the final stuff out of my deck at least. Let's go see what we got. We've got letter. I think there's like, yeah, two water left. Okay. And then let's get a letter and a Raihan. Okay, letter, okay, and then I'll have nine energy. Yo, what's up, Salavian? Thanks for the 26 months. Appreciate you. All right, so I'm doing nine. So I've got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. All right. We need to knock out the Whale Lord. I need to knock out the Frost Moth. All right. Multi shot star. We're doing it all. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> True, right? So I need to do one, two, three, four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine. Skadoosh! All right. And Starmie takes four prizes. One, two. I need some water energy. Three. Yo, where are the water energies at? There's water energy. Okay. So, that rough seas, well, that could just win them the game. Could also could lose them the game. So check this out. You think they got another Guzma? No, I can do 90 damage. I win. I win. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? GG's. No re. Cue the jock jams, chat. GG's, Jesse. Woo Let's go. Yo, that was nuts, dude. That was a nuts game. That was insane. Insane.
Just saying, yeah, you got to believe in Starmie now. Do you see that, dude? That was crazy. That's why Gym Leader, Gym Leader Challenge sells itself, right? I mean, did you see how I was like grinding? I was at the edge of what I could possibly do in my brain trying to figure out how to come back in that game. But like, my goodness, that was insane. You know, having to dig the snom out of the prizes, getting it out, trying to navigate back and forth, back and forth. The Kyogre with the Starmie. Starmie is so insane, dude. Yeah, Starmie is so nuts. These were some amazing games with the water type spread deck. Great games to Jesse Parker, and thanks again for being an awesome sport and playing those matches with me on stream. This deck can struggle against bulky decks that don't put down a lot of weak Pokemon. On stream, we lost to Dave's Metal deck as well as Jake's Grass deck. They got some big Pokemon that are really tough to knock out. But against any deck that sets up support Pokemon, this water type spread deck can really give it some trouble. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content just like this every single weekday. Y'all have a great day. Peace.